Hey guys, it's Tina with Studio Calico here to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the new digital stamp brushes that are now offered in the shop. I think it's really amazing that the rubber stamp designs are now digital stamp brushes for us um, digi slap slash hybrid scrapbookers. Um, this will be a great tutorial for anybody who's never used a digital stamp brush. I'm not claiming to be an expert in Photoshop. This is just um, things that I've learned through the years of working in Photoshop. So forgive me if I don't know correct term terminology. Um, and plus it's first thing in the morning and my son's still sleeping. So I'm kind of whispering here. Um, so bear with me, please. Okay, so I have Photoshop open here. And I'm working with CS5, but I know these, photos, uh, these brushes will work in any version of Photoshop. So I've got my edited photo here. This is what the finished photo looks like. I've added the grid brush stamp and I've added the I Spy as my title and then I also have my text here that's just my journaling. So uh, open up your completed fully edited photograph and let's go ahead and load our brushes. I've already got them loaded but I'll show you here. Click on your brush icon click on the arrow, click on this arrow, and load brushes. And I have mine on my desktop, so I can find them pretty easily. And then they are loaded. Okay, so I'm working with my grid stamp here. And I know I want it smaller, so I just want to resize it by um, pulling this back. And you can see the number is getting smaller. And I think that'll work for me right there. Okay, and I've already chosen the color that I want to go with this photograph. Um, it's kind of a lighter, creamier photo uh, color, excuse me. Um, but before you stamp, this is how you um, color your brush. Um, after you stamp, oh, let me show you here too. You want to create your layer. I'm going to go ahead and name it because I'm going to do actually, I think, four layers of, or excuse me, four rows of grids. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I know that you probably won't know um, your the layout of the stamps you're going to do just yet, um, but I definitely recommend doing a layer for each um, element that you're going to brush onto your photograph. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth using stamp and brush. Um, it's the same thing here, so I'll just try to stick with one from now on so I don't confuse you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down my first stamp. And I want to do kind of a checkered pattern. So I'm going to go right here. And right here, this is going to bleed over. I'm going to click on, oops, I'm working on different rows. That should have been row one, but we'll go ahead and go backwards. Row three. Go ahead and do this, this, row two. one is all the way on top here. Now, I don't want the stamp to cover my camera. I want it to sort of blend into the background so you're, you're barely seeing that grid. So I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity. That's good right there. I mean, I can still see it. It's really subtle and I like that. So I'm going to go back down to row two. Same thing except it's not going to be so opaque. All right there. And row three, I think I just did a smidge. Okay, so now you can see it sort of blending down. And it kind of just leads the eye up to the subject of the photograph. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do I Spy. Choose that brush. Yeah, that's the size that I wanted. If you wanted it bigger or larger, again, you just move this lever here. Small. Oops, too small. And I'm going to actually have it bleed a little bit down too. So it kind of goes into the dead space there. Um, and that's it. Now, say I wanted to change this, the positioning of this I Spy. Um, I'm on that layer, and I'm going to choose the arrow here. 
and I can just move it, but you see that it's clipped because I had it bleed. And then maybe say I want to change the, um, maybe I want to rotate it. So you want to transform, rotate, and then you can just rotate it. And now I don't want to apply that. Say I want to resize it. Again, transform, scale. And to keep the scale what it should be, um, I guess I don't really know the correct wording. If I were to just push this up, it's going to distort the uh, title or the, the font. I don't want to do that. You want to go ahead and click, hold down shift, and click on the corner arrow there, and then move it up. And that, will, that won't distort the font of that title. So that's pretty much everything. And then just to add journaling, um, you just click on your text icon and then just start typing away. And that's where your journaling will be. Um, that's pretty simple. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how you use um, Photoshop brushes. Um, and the final layout, after you know flattening everything down, which you basically just push layer flatten down and I know this is a high resolution I save it I name it I print it and I add it to my layout with some paper elements and this is basically hybrid scrapbooking um, full digital scrapbooking would um, maybe if I just printed out this whole picture and, and used it as a layout and added some more digital elements to it um, but this one I, I really like how the digital stamp brushes play into the um, kit papers and elements. So there you go. Thanks guys.